A stream of charged particles is a flow of electrically charged particles that move through a medium. It is typically generated from high-energy sources like electric fields, magnetic fields, and particle accelerators. In a particle accelerator, a beam of charged particles is accelerated to nearly the speed of light. These particles are directed using magnets and are used to create a stream of intense, moving energy. Streams of charged particles form when the energy from the particles is directed in a specific way. The particles move together because of the interaction between the electric and magnetic fields which propel them in the same direction. A stream of charged particles can be used to create different types of experiments and experiments. For example, a beam of high energy particles can be used to observe the results of nuclear reactors. The stream of charged particles can also be used to create controlled fusion reactions and to observe the effects of particle collisions. Practical applications of particle beams include their use in X-ray imaging and particle beam weapons. In some cases, the stream of charged particles can interact and create highly charged particles, which can be very destructive. In this situation, the particles are referred to as a beam of ions. Although a beam of charged particles can cause destruction, it can also lead to remarkable medical and industrial innovations, including breakthroughs in energy production. For example, a stream of charged particles can be used to target and destroy cancer cells and other disease-causing agents. It has also been used to create innovations in 3D printing and computer vision. Streams of charged particles also play a part in space exploration. They can be used to measure the speed of a spacecraft and assess risks when it comes to space travel. When a charged particle beam moves through a medium, it causes something called the Debye force or the end wash effect. This is a force that results from the motion of charged particles, causing them to move in one direction towards the stream. The stream of charged particles has useful properties, such as its ability to carry electrical current and create magnetic fields. These properties can be used to create electric motors, generators, and transformers. Streams of charged particles can also be used to create light sources. Certain particle beams, like X-rays, or gamma rays, can create light at specific frequencies, allowing them to be used in welding or medical imaging. Streams of charged particles can also be used to study cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are highly energetic particles that come from unknown sources outside of our solar system. X-rays, beta rays, and gamma rays are all examples of streams of charged particles, each of which has its own unique properties and applications. Each of these particles also pose a risk of radiation and can be dangerous if not used safely. The emission of a stream of charged particles is known as particle emission. This can happen as a result of different environmental conditions, such as the bombardment of particles by other particles, or the presence of strong electric fields. Streams of charged particles can also travel through space in a straight line. This type of motion is known as a beam. In some cases, a beam of charged particles can be bent and focused onto a target. Particle beams have a variety of uses in the field of medicine, including cancer therapy and drug delivery. They can also be used to create displays and scanners. In addition to its uses in medicine, particle beams can also be used in military applications, 
such as anti-missile defense systems and particle beam weapons. Particle beams can also be used for engineering and construction purposes, such as cutting and welding metals, creating molds, and forming shapes. In some cases, streams of charged particles can be used to create plasma. This is a state of matter similar to a gas, but with additional heat and electrical energy. A stream of charged particles can also be used to create an ionization chamber. This is a device that can measure the amount of ions present in the atmosphere. The stream of charged particles can also be used to create electric fields, which can be used to manipulate objects. For example, electric fields can be used to trap and rotate objects in a vacuum. High energy particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, are used to generate streams of charged particles. These particles are then used to study the structure of the universe and the nature of matter. Charged particles can also be used to create nuclear power. Nuclear power plants use nuclear fission, a process in which a particle split atom releases energy in the form of high energy particles. Particle beams can also be used to remove pollutants from water and air. Electrostatic precipitators remove dust and smoke particles from the air by creating high voltage electric fields.